So uh, tell everybody what you're doing in Plymouth. Well, I, uh, my wife and I, are, um, we started off in Newport and uh, went down there for two days and uh, went over to uh, down the Cape Cod. Yeah. And uh, we're looking for retreat facilities to offer uh, retreats down here in Plymouth. And uh, we're staying at the Radisson. Yeah. And uh, they've been very gracious and we met with their people today. And uh, Project New Hope is looking early next year to do a retreat down here in Plymouth here. And uh, I'm really excited to be bringing Project New Hope so down here. So am I. <laughs> I. I was really just stunned. I was here uh, back a few months ago with the American Legion for our state convention. Yeah. And I was just taken back. I was like, well, I haven't been here since I was a little kid coming on the bus yeah. to visit Plymouth Rock and stuff. And uh, so that's why my wife and I are here. She also serves on the board of directors for Project New Hope. And uh, we went out on a harbor cruise last night and uh, the, uh, absolutely stunning. And uh, so I, I see this being a very therapeutic beautiful location area. here yeah. to offer our retreat. So that's what I'm doing here. And I really mm -hmm. got to thank you again, uh, you and your girl Kirsten here for uh, having us come in here and uh, you know tell us, a, tell us a little bit about Project New Hope and what's going on and, and our partnership. Because you've been with us for the, for the three years that we've been yeah. in existence. And yeah. I, I want to thank you publicly for that again. I appreciate that. Uh, because it, you know, it means a lot to us. And it, it, it's funny because I, I remember uh, just thinking here when you first came on board, I didn't know what somebody mentioned yoga, and I'm saying I couldn't see myself in a pair of tights here, you know. And uh, and then you know acupuncture, and I think the biggest thing with myself, and probably being like a lot of other veterans, is saying you know acupuncture. It's almost like thinking outside the box, um, because. The answer for me, I think I told you the quick story. Uh, I went for my yearly physical, and uh, you know, being 55, I said, you know, I, I go every year. And uh, when they weighed me in at 298 pounds, I was like, my God. I says, I got chicken legs, yeah. and I got a big belly here, yeah. and it's something snapped, and it woke me up here. And uh, in two months, I've lost 25 pounds. My blood pressure went from 181 over 80 down to 117 over 80. And uh, just before I left on vacation with my wife, uh, the report came back from my blood work. Everything is normal. And what I started doing Congratulations. is finally, thank you. And you know what? I finally started listening to trying to participate in the acupuncture, the yoga, yeah. the meditation. Meditation is fantastic. You can do it walking. We have a, a great instructor, Jason Dulac, yep, who does, does that. does a great job, yeah. And just uh, what I would say to my fellow brothers and sisters out there is just don't have, don't go into this with blinders on. Uh, being a veteran there, you, you'll know. You go to the VA, they're pushing medication on you. My goal is to get off of this medication. And, uh, you know, I started taking some supplements, my vitamins. And in two months, I've lost 25 pounds. And my blood pressure is down to 117. And my doctors are telling me, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Yeah. You know, and, and I started off just walk. I could only walk a half a mile. I mean, I have good days and bad days. When it rains out, I'm lucky I can get out of bed, but I push through. Something's better than nothing. And it changes up here as well. Yep. Your outlook is improving. Your communication improves. Your relationship with your family oh, improves. I've watched you change over the last few You years. know, as you know, on my Facebook page, I post all my, my results every oh. day of what's, what's going I, on. It's fun to see all the support for you and all that and everybody chiming in. And yeah, and it's great to see, the, see them going out saying, Bill, you're my motivation. I started walking. You know, so we're out walking with my children. So it gives me the quality time with my adult children that they're they're encouraging their dad to get out there and start working. Yeah. And, and then I walk with my wife. She's like a jackrabbit. Yeah, you know, I can't keep up with her. So you know, I start, we start off walking together, but after that, she just I, I you know I yeah. just see her out in the distance there. And yeah. uh, but no, that's it's so that's what Project New Hope is all about. It's uh, we started off five retreats. We did seven last year. We're doing ten this year. We've expanded. Uh, we did our first retreat in Rhode Island. We're doing one in September up in uh, Ocean Park, Maine, which is right next to Old Orchard. Yeah. We did our first one up in Vermont. And, um, and now we're looking at the, doing one here in Connecticut, Connecticut and uh, New yeah. Hampshire next year. So we're, we're growing and uh, we're always looking for volunteers. And, uh, you know, I know you're going to post my web link at the end of the show and stuff. And uh, So the, the, the retreats, we... Uh, if, if I recall correctly, we have family retreats, we have women's retreats, you, as you said, the sexual trauma. Military sexual trauma retreats. You said retreats. you're going to do another traumatic brain injury. We're going to be, uh, we have a meet with the uh, Mass Rehab Commission, the SHIP program uh, okay. for the traumatic brain injury to reach out to these veterans. We'll do a retreat. Uh, I would love to do a retreat for Vietnam veterans only. Uh, but the retreats are open. We have uh, the 
the Women Veterans Retreat is, we, was the first one we've ever done in, in Massachusetts. Very, very successful. We have a lot of partners there. The, the Women's Veterans Network for uh, Secretary Coleman Nee's office does a fantastic job. So there's a lot of information out there. And we'll do, a, we were approached by a, um, the Military Sexual Trauma uh, Department up at the Befford VA saying, hey, would you consider doing it? Absolutely, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we also reach out, we have a Gold Star Survivors Weekend for our Gold Star families. We're not going to forget them. You know, they have needs that needs to be met as well. And uh, and then our survivors, which is military members that have come back and maybe committed suicide. Yeah. Uh, we, we take care of those families as well. And, uh, you know, we're a tight community here. And uh, I'm, re I'm really amazed just being a part of Project New Haven and being at a number of these retreats. Uh, uh, just to touch again on uh, people come in, they don't. They don't know one another Friday night, and by Sunday they're hugging each other goodbye, and and they've made you know whether it's a lifelong friend or just a connection, just a, just feeling like hey, there's other people that are in my right. you know it, sharing my. It's my, that bond. It's yeah. that bond. One, um, we might joke, and you'll hear me joking about I'm the Air Force, you know, and then you have Paul who's oh, on my board, yeah, retired yeah. Gunny yeah. Sergeant from the Marine, Marine Corps. Yeah. And we have Bill who, who's an Army veteran and stuff. We battle with one another back and forth, <laughs> but it's all in fun here yeah. and you know we don't a lot of these veterans come and we don't know them but when we got that bond by the end of that first night you know it, it, it's just amazing which now now here you are you thought you were alone out there you're sitting at home you're isolated you think I, there's nothing out here for me I, you know uh, I'm going through this alone you're not alone because now the veterans are, we're connected we're telling war stories about when we were in the service and this is what happened yeah. now you got the spouses which really special is you step back and you watch the spouses connecting with the other spouses saying I went through this and then you watch the children uh, talking with one another saying you know things are going to be all right here and just watching the children interact and now they're by Saturday they're sleeping in each other's rooms and they're exchanging information they're on Facebook together and they're going to each other's graduations and hey we've been together since this retreat here that's so empowering so that's you know it's just, and then you know what you, you've seen with the, the all the holistic providers coming in hey you know you, it's like old home week you you know you didn't know them until you started volunteering for project new hope yeah. and now you know it's like hey how you doing here paul how bill you know it's, it's really great to see well, we gotta we gotta we gotta wind things down. I want to make sure we get your information up. And so again, um, um, tell everybody your website and and you know, we all mentioned the Facebook page as well. Is is it Project New Hope? It's Project New Hope Inc. And, Project New um, Hope Inc. Okay. Yep. Just please, all you have to do is like our uh, Facebook page. We post a lot of the upcoming retreats. Uh, people put slideshows on there from okay. our previous retreats and your your pictures on yeah. some of those yeah. slideshows yeah. and stuff. And our Don't web let that link. Stop you. Our web link is uh, www.projectnewhopema.org. Just uh, so projectnewhopema.org, okay. one word, and uh, you go right into our website. Sign up for our newsletter. We send out a monthly newsletter. Advertising when the retreats are, the next retreats are going on, and other pertinent information and uh, this contact information. They can sign up it. through the website. They for can retreats sign up through the website. And, uh, they can yeah. get information on our Facebook page as well. Um, if you if you the family's struggling or they have something going on, yeah. reach out, send us an email, send me an email, and we'll get you connected to the right resource. Great. to take care of you and your family. Uh, Bill Moore from uh, the president of Project New Hope. Bill, thank you very much for being on the show. I, I appreciate Thanks, that very this much. This went too quick. This it, went too it, quick. It always does. It always yeah. does. And uh, again, it, this is uh, it's been an honor to have Bill Moore uh, from Project New Hope on. I've I've been very um, I'm very happy that they allow me to be a part of the family. It's an amazing uh, amazing project, and and I hope that you'll share this with. If you're a veteran, I hope you participate. Otherwise, I hope you share it with other veterans that you know. Thanks again for watching another episode of Health Naturally. I'm Paul Gerst. <laughs>